Seattle, the capital city of Washington State, has an important place in the history of aviation. At the Museum of Flight, amongst the wide range of exhibits are several that have important significance, including the first ever Boeing aircraft, the B&W, reportedly flown by William Boeing himself in 1916. And here, the 1925 Model B, the first ever Boeing passenger plane, originally used as a US postal carrier, but later configured as the first ever passenger aircraft carrying just two people. Fast forward some 90 years and to the Boeing Renton plant just 20 minutes from Seattle. I'm George and 15 and media people selected by Fly Dubai visitors. visited the 737 assembly plant to coincide with Fly Dubai's 49th 737, 737 coming off the production line. In this very plant in the 1940s, the Boeing Sea Ranger, a US military naval reconnaissance plane, was first built. Now this assembly plant, some 69,000 meters, is where the 737, exclusively used by Fly Dubai, is constructed. Guided by Boeing's Michael Annie, the journalists and reporters were briefed on the various stages of work along the production line. We also put hydraulics on the airplane. So right now we have a fully functioning airplane to a system. The main thing is just one last safety check to make sure that everything is properly hooked up and installed so we can start putting in electronics and start running the more complex functional tests. Also start prepping the interiors for, for the passenger cabin for interiors. The highlight of this trip though was to see the 49th Fly Dubai 737 on the production line. Right behind us is the Fly Dubai airplane. So at this point in time if you'd like to take any photos uh, Please feel free. So yeah, so it's in the final stages. So when we go up, when we go up in the passenger cabin, there might be some people coming back to work. So you'll see it in different stages of the process. But we're almost completed with this airplane. Just days after this visit, this very plane would be leaving the assembly plant and be heading to Dubai. While the journalists would get to see the production facility and meet Boeing executives, this would not be all. A trip to the 737 configuration studio where visitors were familiarized with the various aspects of design and options available that go into aircraft interiors. Finally, the Fly Dubai guests would be shown around the Customer Experience Center, a rare opportunity to experience this facility normally reserved for Boeing customers. This interior here, the Sky interior, uh, was launched by Fly Dubai. They were the very first airline to take delivery. Being the launch customer, you know, Fly Dubai. For Ken Guile, COO of Fly Dubai, this trip would not be limited to simply heading up the media delegation. Boeing TV would conduct their own interview. Ray Connor, CEO, commercial airplanes for Boeing, interested to find out more about Fly Dubai. A town hall meeting with Boeing staff allowed Ken Gahl to familiarize the employees with Fly Dubai. An event that was not only a full house, but also a very appreciative one. Finally, in a departure from the norm, Ken Gahl took a tour of the shop floor, meeting employees who are now responsible for assembling the 737s, receiving a warm and welcome reception from this, the longest-running Boeing production facility in the U.S. <laughs>